WFNN. Headline News Update. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman here on this first day of November, Monday, and we're looking at the Dow for the Tiger Financial News Network 10 a.m. update. Dow is up 91 at 35,910. Had a high, all time high today of 36,009. I had said to subscribers that I thought that the uh, 35,900 would offer a lot of resistance, even if there is a touch of 36,000. We'll see. But this is going to be very interesting because this is leg E in the Dow um, daily chart. In the diamonds, that's the trading vehicle, it's actually a leg F in the S&P. And when you get to a D and E and even F, that's when you've got to be a little bit cautious. Doesn't mean to say you can't go higher, but that's where you start to expect some kind of uh, resistance to kick in. We look at 46.03, down 2.41 in the S&P. It had an all-time high today, 46.20.34. Leg D, that's what we'd be anticipating, D in the daily. But look at this. Here's the problem. Each one of these is a slightly different notation. Look, you've got this leg C in the QQQ, index 100. And I suspect that there will be some kind of a pullback maybe tomorrow maybe later today into tomorrow and then wednesday thursday we might get that one little pop in the queues to go to a leg d so this is where you'll be starting to get a little bit cautious we haven't done anything about it yet look at the iwm it's been lagging and is again uh, uh showing in within the rectangle sideways rectangle formation that uh there is in fact some strength there it's gone to 231.20 all-time high is 234.53 this is a leg f in the daily chart wow we're going to be watching this one closely let's just go quickly to gold for this update gold is up 11 as we said we thought that fridays was a little bit of an overreaction to the downside there should be a rally there is a rally uh this is nice it's in a trading band and uh, yes the dollars pulled back a little bit but it's still up near the uh, recovery highs what we are looking at here and this is going to be quite important is that the tlt that's the uh lehman 20-year treasury bond fund is down and yields are popping up again and yes crude oil it had a nice little bounce earlier on it's still up a dollar at 84.56 we're watching this very closely to see if, if this week is some kind of a pullback and we're anticipating this week there's going to be some kind of pullback in the general market how much is the issue? I'll be back. We'll talk about it in my Tiger Technician's Hour coming up in a few minutes. Otherwise, 